Hey, YouTube friends and family. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm on here today. I wasn't going to do a video today. I had a lot of other things to do. But I'm angry. Oh, my God, am I angry. And you should be, too. You really should. Um, most of you that have been surfing around the YouTube community probably already know about the uh, breaking news about the U.S. Embassy and the Egypt Egyptians' uh, I don't want to use the word attack, but I can't think of a, a better word right now to use. They attacked the U.S. Embassy, and uh, there were three American members of, of the embassy staff killed, and the U.S. Ambassador to Libya was also killed. President Obama is condemning the attacks, condemning the attacks, and he's ordered an increase in security, increased security, at the U.S. diplomatic post around the world. He, in his... Uh, statement said that he has ordered all necessary resources to support the security of our personnel in Libya and to increase security at our diplomatic post around the globe. So it's, it's become a global concern, of course. To the family of John Christopher Stevens, I send my condolences, and to the other three that were killed in this horrific uh, event. This has me so angry, I'm just white-knuckled. I'm white-knuckled. This started over a movie that was so offensive. And believe me, friends, when the Egyptians say that it was offensive, that's an understatement. I personally have taken the time to go and look for the movie and found it and watched a portion of it, part of it, because I wanted to know what was really uh, behind this storming of the U.S. Embassy. Terry Jones. Does anybody remember Pastor Terry Jones? He's uh, down there in Florida, and he was the... Uh, fellow that took it upon himself to burn the Koran. Do you guys remember that? I think it was in 2010. Well, anyway, he's behind this movie. I don't know if he scripted the movie or what the deal is, but he is involved in this movie. Now, this movie my friends, is so poorly done. <sighs> You've heard of B-rated movies, you know, really bad, tasteless movies, movies that are uh, consist of poor acting and uh, poor script. This movie's beyond that. I mean, I wouldn't even give it a rating of D or F. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. 
I would stand, and I'm going to say this, I would stand with the Egyptian people right now in outrage. What in the world makes the American people think that they are any better than anybody else? Really? What makes the American people think they're better than anybody else in the world? You know, I don't care if it was the uh, Quran. I don't care if it was the Bible. I don't care uh, what the reason is behind it. Because I say the reason is bogus. I, I think that it's absolutely distasteful what's happening. And what really bothers me more than anything is the fact that so many people seem to agree that this was right. I've got to fly and I'm going to catch him. It's just a matter of time. If he would slow down. Yeah, and they never come around until I start to do a video. And then all of a sudden, mysteriously, will come this fly. Anyway, I apologize, friends. I don't care. It's, it's not about the act as the mentality behind the act or the reason behind the act. Yesterday I was appalled at how many people there still are in America that believe the original story, the original accounting of 9-11, even though proof is everywhere, to the contrary. They just can't reason it out. They can't think it out. They cannot see, see clearly. They cannot hear well. And if they do see and hear, by the time it merges inside their brain, they can't reason out with logic and simple, plain common sense why this whole story is wrong. Why there's more to it. Hold on a minute. I see the fly. And I'm going to get him. Or not. There's a game that I don't allow my children to play. Never have. Don't like the game. Never liked it when I was a kid. But then I had a very wise father. And my father explained to me what was wrong with the game. And the game is called Follow the Leader. There's a lot more to that game than just children giggling and, and walking behind another child doing everything that other child does. There's a message there that can be deep-seated. So I don't allow my children to play follow the leader, and I don't play follow the leader. I don't watch something on YouTube or read something in the news or in life and automatically assume that it's right. Before I base my opinion... I will spend a lot of time sometimes researching and trying to get down to the absolute fact before I base my opinion. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that 9-11 did not happen the way they said it did. I believe very much so that our government was involved no, I have to say I absolutely believe our government was involved. And I can say that very earnestly because I listened to President Bush dodge one question. I watched him squirm on one question. And the question was, asked, did you or did you not 
have prior notice of the attack on 9-11, on the World Trade Center. And it is absolutely comical to watch then-President Bush avoid that question. I'll put the link to, to a video on that down below in the description area. You need to see it. This Egyptian thing, you know, people, look around you. 9-11 took place for one reason, and one reason only. And they did not care about the 3,000 people. They did not care about the firemen and the first responders that are still dying. They didn't care about the innocent victims and people that were killed over in another country because of this. They didn't care how many people were sacrificed as long as they could get one more deed done in their agenda. And the most important deed, the most important task, 9-11 was so valuable to the Dark Ones, what I call they, the Dark Ones, the people behind it. This was the most important step. And it's obvious, if any of you are alive today and live in America, then you should know what I'm telling you is true. 9-11 was the catapult. With 9-11, they were able to institute laws against the citizens of America. They were able to put out the Patri Patriot Act, the total, complete right of the government to invade your privacy in every aspect of your life. Every aspect. If I get on this phone right now and I make a phone call, they can listen in to the call, know who I'm calling, when I'm calling, what is said, and they can even call me back and detail it, recite it back to me verbatim, word for word, because they have that right. They have that right because of 9-11. They can set up drones to watch everything I, I do. They can listen in through the walls of my home. <laughs> you people may not believe it, for crying out loud, go do some research. They have the technology, they use the technology, and it's against you. TSA is against you. Oh, but they're doing it to protect you from the terrorist. They're taking away your rights to protect you from the terrorist. They're disregarding the entire Constitution in the White House is being used as toilet paper to protect you from the terrorist. Remember 9-11? Remember 9-11? Remember what we told you? Do you remember how it happened? My question is, people, have you watched how it happened? You know, the one that tickles me, the, the, 
newscast that absolutely tickles me to this day is the reporter, the woman, woman reporter, standing there with her mic ready. And she says, and building number seven went down. And building number seven is still standing behind her. Scripted, you think? Do you think they knew what they were supposed to say? She got her timing wrong. But she said what she was supposed to say. Just a little too fast. Because Building 7 did come down. Very profitably, I might add. Check that out. Who owned the building? How much did he get for it? Oh, no plane hit Building 7, by the way. Don't know what I'm talking about? Go look it up. Google it. Did two planes take the towers down? No. Good God, no. People. Fire does not melt steel. It does not turn steel into molten state. It can't. Oh, silly me. Yeah, they covered that, didn't they? It was the jet fuel that did it, running down the floors. Wake up! Really? Not. Not. But we covered all this yesterday, right? Night before last, when I made the video. So we don't need to keep covering this. What we do need to cover is, they covered their stages, their steps in this agenda. You know, they, they have their little list. One, two, three, four, five, and on and on. They have checked them off accordingly as they achieved their goal. As they were able to achieve that goal, they put their little check mark. And then 9-11. This movie that the Egyptians are so upset about, the Muslims, Muslim, uh, the ultra-conservative Muslims, I might add, protesters, you know, climbing the walls of the embassy building and tearing down the American flag and replacing it with a black flag to protest this nasty, polluted, creepy, sickening film, this movie, slandering and insulting their prophet, Muhammad. Hello, people. Stand with them. It was wrong. Look at the movie. It was disgusting. It should have never been. But you got twisted brains trying to create more problems. Isn't it funny? Isn't it ironic that this happens the day after the anniversary of 9-11? Could this be one of their agenda? One, two, three. Could this be number four? Another war? More distension in the world? Who in the heck do the Americans think they are? I was born in America. Now, I don't know, I have no recall of whether I chose to be born in America or not. But I was born in America. Because some guy had designed the borders and named it America. But I don't play follow the leader. I make my own decisions. And the American government right now is polluted. It's so full of corruption, it isn't even funny, and it comes out all the time. Not in the mainstream media. Oh, hell no. Because they are controlled also, and excuse me for cursing, but they're controlled. They're told what to say. Go back to the video down below on the reporter saying that Building 7 came down when it didn't. She was handed her script, and she read it accordingly. 
and she was wrong. Her timing was off. I have to have a drink of my coffee. Dry milk. People, there's only one truth. There's only one truth. Something bad is going to happen because of this. Uh, make sure that your home, inside your home, that you have food. Non-perishable food. Even if it's canned goods that you can just open and eat. Make sure you have food and water that you have supplies because this is all part of an agenda and something could happen it's part of the plan I'm disgusted by it I'm angry and to all my brothers and sisters in, in Egypt I don't blame you to all my Muslim brothers and sisters, I don't blame you for being upset, for being angry. This was wrong. It was distasteful. It was unacceptable. We're no better than you. And to my American brothers and sisters, wake up. Look around you. You are no longer free. You are no longer free. They have done this to protect you from the terrorist. Well, you know what? They are the terrorist. But today, they say, you are. You are the terrorist. Your husband is the terrorist. Your wife is the terrorist. They have the right to violate your children. To put their hands on the groin, groin of your child. Because your child is the terrorist. And you accept it. You accept it. I resent you. I resent you. You people that do not believe this is happening. You that live in denial. You that refuse to see. Refuse to hear. Refuse to use your own common sense. You're causing me to lose my freedoms, too. We are no better. And America is no longer what it was. Or was it ever? I don't know. I don't know anymore, but I know, I know in 2000, I felt free, I was happy, I was elated. In 2001, I was concerned, startled, shocked. In 2002, I was mad. I was angry. I was losing freedom. They were listening in on my calls. My life, my privacy, was gone. And today, I don't feel safe. But... They're doing this to protect us. So why don't I feel safe? Why? Do you feel safe? I don't follow the leader. I don't like him. I don't like them. I love everybody in the whole world. I'm no better. My country's no better. Soon, very soon, unless something happens to change it, I'll live 
in fear, like many other people in different countries live in fear every day, while the powers that be take all freedoms away. Not right. Not right. And I'm just one woman, frustrated and angry at the wrongs. I have a little channel on YouTube, and I hope people will listen. But will they? Will they listen? Will they understand? I love you all. This is bad. Prepare. Be prepared. Don't buy no more toys. Don't take any trips. Spend the money. Not on pizza. Get supplies ready in your home to protect the people you love. For those of you that have plenty of money, help family members that don't, or friends or neighbors. I love you all. I have to go look for hope. I have to go look for hope.